Okay, I was just going to go over really quick. Um, I was talking to someone about ink, so I thought I'd explain some things. How basic this is. Black ink is basically all the same. It all uses the same pigment. It's called carbon black or lamp black. Uh, most carbon black in the world is produced from acetylene gas, and that's used in industrial applications. Inks are usually made from burning oil lamps uh, using linseed oil. Uh, seed oils make the blackest soot. Uh, how it's collected de will determine the particle size. And the smaller the particle size, the more particles fit into a space, and that's where you get blacker blacks. Uh, that's basically it. How the material used to make the lamp black and how small the particles are will determine how black the ink is. That and how much you know it's watered down. But there's nothing else to it. Out of the inks you have three types. There's waterproof drying ink, non-waterproof drying ink, and then tattoo ink which is basically non-waterproof ink with a little glycerin in it as a more natural suspension element as opposed to like a gum arabic that you might find in non-waterproof inks. Waterproof inks have shellac in them. That shellac is processed with borax. Uh, Talons is probably one of the most popular drawing inks used in tattooing and yet it is the heaviest in shellac drawing inks. It would probably be the last thing I would use. Uh, Non-waterproof inks some, the only additives, as far as what you call a carrier, a suspension additive, we'll say, used to keep the particles suspended. Otherwise, all the particles would just settle to the bottom, which can happen to Pelican because it has the least amount of additives in it. So you got to keep that shaken a lot. But uh, gum arabic is usually used in non-waterproof inks. Uh, there are some other additives, uh, like Higgins. This is Higgins Non-Waterproof, Higgins Eternal. They have a lot of ammonia in them, and that's because they're using airbrushes. They're also very thin. Uh, we would require a lot of reducing, so I wouldn't necessarily use those. Uh, let's see. The other only additives in a non-waterproof ink, uh, say Pelican, has a phenol additive, which is a natural antiseptic used to keep it sterile. And I think that might be how the Pelican got so popular is because it too has a lot of phenol in it. It has that definite smell to it. it smells like, you know, camphor finique or something. Maybe people associated that smell with the same kind of formula as Pelican and that association is what made it so popular. But other than that, I can't imagine why anyone would use it. As far as uh, what waterproof shellac does to an ink uh, when you put it on paper it makes it very glossy uh, these swatches aren't going to show up very well as far as how much gloss is in them but I can tell you that the black cat so called waterproof ink has the same gloss factor as the Higgins non waterproof ink the black cat waterproof ink also shrinks up almost as much as the non waterproof ink Whereas the talons, I put these samples in wells and then let them dry for a few days. The pelican dried up to almost dust. The black cat uh, shriveled up and cracked a lot. The higgins also dried up and cracked a lot. The talons turns to a, did not shrink. It did not dry up at all. It's very glossy, very hard, like chips of plastic. Uh, this is Windsor Newton Calligraphy Matte Black. It's very, very thick, very, very black. Probably the only additive is the gum arabic. You actually have to add a 50-50, uh, like 25% witch hazel and 25% 70% alcohol to actually thin this out to get it to where you can use it. It is very, very, very dense. Very, very black. Uh, and that's pretty much it for those inks.
top choice would be Pelican because it has mm, almost no additives to it but you can only find it in small bottles and I have tried a couple of times ordering this and they mistakenly will send you the Fountain India drawing ink which is a dye it's not it's not a particle ink whereas the black cat I would say is in between pelican and talons it's labeled waterproof but uh, like I said the particles shrunk up cracked dried out as if it has very little shellac in it so that's a very good choice. $14 a bottle versus $40. Um, you just have to reduce this. Pour about half the bottle out after it sits on the shelf and settles for a week. Pour the top half out into a sterile glass jar. Double boil it. Reduce about half of that water out. And you've got, you know, cheap black ink. There's nothing special to inks. There's just additives. What you want and what you don't want. It's up to you. But don't think that, you know, just because it costs $40 a bottle that, you know, it's somehow special. Because there's nothing special to inks. And that's basically that. If you have any questions, shoot me a message and I'll tell you where I got whatever. How you can make your own ink if you really want to. But it's a very messy and I would not suggest it. Now you're the sky.